everybody, welcome to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin, your destination for learning classic rock songs on this wonderful little eight string instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and now I'm taking you back to a classic from Radiohead, one of their early hits, and a really moody, really fun song to play on the mandolin that is basically just one chord progression all the way through. So if you learn the chords, you can play this song quite easily. Although part of it could be arpeggiated picking, and the other part could be just playing the chords, the full chords. But anyway, I'll show you the difference once we get into this lesson. But first, if you haven't subscribed already, if you're new to this channel, thanks very much for checking us out. Please hit that little red subscriber button if you can uh, on the way out. It really helps this channel to grow into something spectacular in the future. If you are already a subscriber, a returning visitor, thank you very much for your support and all of the kind comments you guys have been sending my way. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I'm so glad that these mandolin lessons are helping you guys out. And, uh, you know, a lot of beginning mandolin players have told me they are learning a lot from learning the songs on this site. That's the way I learned, by just learning to play songs. That's the best way to get going on the mandolin if you're brand new or even if you're coming over from another instrument like guitar. Just learn some songs, especially familiar songs, and ones you already kind of know in your head, you'll be able to play them in no time on this instrument. Also, if you want to help us out a little bit more, maybe a little bit financially, please check out our Patreon page. You can become a patron over there and help support us uh, with a monthly donation. And also over on Patreon, I'll be posting some videos there, um, some beginner lessons, uh, some easy chord lessons, uh, tuning lessons, product reviews, stuff that you won't see here on this site, which is only dedicated to learning songs, RPM uh, songs, rock and pop mandolin songs. So check out our Patreon page. But now let's dive into this Radiohead classic called Creep here on Rock and Pop Mandolin. Okay, let's check out Radiohead's Creep. It's a really easy song, as I told you, only one real chord progression. However, the chord progressions are played a little bit differently. Part of it can be arpeggiated. That means picking out the individual notes to each chord or just strumming the chords. So let's take a look first at the strumming pattern for the easy chords to get you going, all right? So let's start off with the G chord here. Open G, which is second fret of the A string and third fret of the E string, right? And it just goes like this. That's the chord, that's the strumming pattern. So one, so it's like, right? One. So kind of give it a little bit of a pause on that first strum. So like that. Okay, so. All right, so what am I doing there? Well, I'm pulling in this note here, which is a C, that makes this chord a G sus four chord. All right, so all you gotta do is just move, well, essentially move this note to this note. So the second fret of the A to the third fret of the A. What I do is I pull in another finger here. So I'm like this on the G chord, and then I just switch to these two fingers here to catch both of these third fret notes here. So like this. So, so that comes on this beat here, watch. Right, to D, right at the end of that section, all right? So, And that little sus4 pattern is played over all of the chords here that I'm going to show you, okay? So we go from the G chord, and the next chord is a B major chord, which is kind of unusual because it's not in the key of G. But anyway, don't worry about that. They do a B major chord here, and then they bring in another sus4 note. What a sus4 chord is, it's when you add the fourth note of a scale. All right, so in the G scale, G, A, B, C is the fourth note. So on that previous chord, adding the C note makes it a sus4, a suspended four chord, all right? And you can do that here with the B chord, right? By bringing in the E note, all right? That is the sus4 on, an, on a B chord. And where do you find that? Well, here, this is how I am making that B chord right now. So. This note here, 4th fret, 
of your G string and fourth fret again of the D string, second fret here of the A string. So actually you have two Bs right there in this B chord. Now on this one, I'm not playing the E string yet. And that is key to this voicing, all right? So just play these three strings first. And then hit the... You hear that little E note there gives you that sus4 chord, all right? So these three strings and then uh, just hit it once. And then go back to this part of the chord here. So once again... Right? That's a B sus4 chord. You can also play it here, like this. You hear how that little note is kind of suspended. In other words, it's kind of, it wants to move somewhere else, like being suspended in thin air. So you could play it there as well. This is a B chord as well. So I've got these two notes again, but instead of here, I'm gonna catch this note here, which is the sixth fret of the A string. So that's a, another B major chord voicing. And then if you want to get the sus4 note, the E note, use your pinky there. So go like that. All right, so what do we have so far? Well, we have the G and sus4 and then a B. And then you're moving to a C chord. And I play this voicing here. Right, second fret of the D string, third fret of the A. And the same thing, you want to get a sus4 note here. So this time it's this note on the D string, third fret. Okay, so similar to the G where you go like that, you can do it with the C. All right, so that's these two notes, both third fret. Move those fingers in like that. And then, they do a real sort of a secret weapon trick here. They go from the C major chord, they drop one fret down, and it becomes a C minor chord. Really nice, moody chord. Listen to that. So going from the major down to a C minor. And back to the G. Okay, so that's the entire chord pattern for creep. That's what they do throughout the entire song. All right. Now, the only difference, if you want to change it up a little bit, is that you can arpeggiate those chords. And that means pick the notes individually. Now, I'm going to point out here that on the mandolin, when you arpeggiate those chords, at least in the open chord voicings, I'm playing some slightly different notes than the original version by Radiohead. Okay, Radiohead on the guitar We'll be picking some slightly different notes, but I'm still going to be picking notes within the chords, so they will all work. They are essentially just uh, harmonizing. You're essentially just harmonizing the chords. That means playing different notes, that, but are still in the main chord, all right? So here's what I mean. So let's arpeggiate the G. Right, so... All I did was I went from this note here up to up to the second fret of the A string so and I came down again right so with this open string in the middle so right and then back up to that that uh, second fret again so you, you got the G chord go like that and then and then hit that that sus note and you can do that with chords, right? So you can do the same thing on this B chord, right? Right, so you're hitting the B note here, fourth fret, and then you're catching that high B note here, as I said before, right? So, right, so like that. And then you're hitting that high E note there, back to the second fret. So one more time on that. You see how that works as a sus4? It's not exactly the same notes that Radiohead is playing. I will grant that, but I think it works for a mandolin version. Same thing with this C chord now. I'm on a C chord, right? But I'm starting 
I, the lowest note that I have to play with here is a G, so I'm going to use the G instead of a low C. So, so here I'm going up to the third fret. So I open here and third fret there, right? So and coming down with this note. So I'm I'm fretting that entire C chord there. Can you see that? And the same thing. That's sus4, right? And then to the C minor, you want to move your finger down here. The C minor chord, by the way, is first fret of the D string and third fret of the A string, right? And then you can hit all these notes like that open. So open G, open E. That's a C minor chord. So you can pluck that as well. Like This is something similar to what the Radiohead guitar player is doing. He's doing... Something like that. So I'm just going low to high again, right? G to the C, but then I'm catching that note there, which makes it a, G, uh, a C minor chord. All right, so on each of these arpeggiated patterns, you're going low to high and coming back down. So I'll show you one more time. G chord, sus4, and then a B chord. and then a C chord, and then a C minor, back to G. Okay, and if you wanted to try the lead guitar part, well, it involves some tremolo picking and uh, sounds kind of nice on mandolin. Um, basically, I leave it up to you to figure out the exact notes, but I can show you some of it. You can start off with a G, right? So what am I doing there? Well, I'm just playing around with notes from the G chord and the C chord and the C minor chord, all right? So um, here, I'm starting off here on the fifth fret of the D string, and I'm just using the tremolo technique, which is just back and forth very quickly, and then move one fret down to the fourth fret, and then up to the seventh fret there, right? And then back to the G. And then you want to count, this is the key note here, the first fret of the D string. Right, it, it plays in that C minor chord again, right? So it's right down there. So you're fifth fret, fourth fret, seventh fret, and then fifth fret, down to there. And that is Creep by Radiohead, another fun song to play on the mandolin, another really easy song. Again, only one chord progression. You should be able to play that one quite easily and quite quickly. If you are new here to RPM, thanks again for tuning in and please, Hit that little red subscriber button down there in the lower right corner. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks very much for your ongoing support. We really appreciate it. And please check out our Patreon link in the comments box below. My name is Mike Dijon. Thanks again for watching Rock and Pop Mandolin.